Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another daily CSGO news episode. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a comment down below. We are now over 78,400 strong and thank you all for the great support. Let's hop into our first story though. And again, we have a lot of roster change news coming on. That's going to be in the back half of today's video. And as always, all of today's stories are time marked down below. If you guys want to bounce around any story, let's hop into our first one though. All about 100 Thieves. For all you fans out there about this uh, former X Immortals roster, they are seemingly falling apart on the 100 Thieves organization. Of course, Nade Shot's brand new organization. They have a League of Legends team. And now, of course, they had potentially one of, the, one of the top five CSGO rosters out there. That is before last week where they released KNG. And they are now an impartial roster with, of course, the twin brothers, Hen1 and Lucas1. I know you guys hate when I say it. I'm sorry. I mean Henny and Lucas. Alongside them, they also have Bit from Team 1. And, of course, we do have FNX. So kind of known as the party squad in CSGO. But we're not really not sure what this roster will do in the future without people like KNG. There's rumors out there that Phelps from SK could be a great option. But really no one knows the Vista issues going on and 100 Thieves right now. They have yet to release any official information as to why they are continuing to pull out of tournaments. Now, of course, we do know the roster is incomplete without KNG. They could have had any substitute player, though, in any Brazilian part of the world who would want to join their roster, but it seems they have more visa issues than just one, that one being KNG, as they have now withdrawn from both Star Series as well as IEM Katowice qualifiers, and that is in huge news. Of course, those are big tournaments coming up early in 2018, and they just recently pulled out of the major as well. That's a lot of money and potential money lost for this organization and clearly right now we have no clue what the actual problem is visa wise but I think it's actually going to be more than one visa issue here going forward and we're not sure who the future roster will be for 100 Thieves and when they'll actually be complete enough to compete anywhere. So they spent two months actually pugging away for that major with KNG as a part of that roster. All of that going down the drain when they couldn't go to the major itself. They're now without KNG and they will no longer go into Star Series qualifiers or I am Katowice. Who knows what the future is here guys but they are certainly struggling. And this episode of CSK News brought to us by our new sponsor sponsor cs.money a great trading website for all of you guys who want to support the channel my link is down below and huge thanks to all of you guys who have actually supported my sponsors I really do appreciate that and finally not a non gambling sponsor with CS money so I really do appreciate that they're gonna sponsor the next four or five videos so huge shouts to my sponsor guys anyway though bouncing off to new content out there as well we do have in big news misfits breaking the rumors I know we talked about this here as well as rumors on the scene that misfits might be signing a French organization that being because they lost most of their roster and Shazam as well as Sean Gares and on top of that sick all leaving the roster Roster. They're now down to Amanek and Devo Duvek, two French players. That rumor has now been busted though, and they apparently will be staying on the bench for quite some time until they're released. Because yes, it is leaked out there that Misfits will be signing X Gale Force and that roster over there. An extremely underwhelming roster. I need to get that clear. Although there's some good, you know, pretty well known names out there like Johnny Boy as well as Marky. Marky being a part of the Miami Flamingos when they first had their CSGO team. So it's a great Argentinian team. They did kind of well at the Argentina qualifiers for WESG. But don't get me wrong here, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to try and be biased here because I like some of the players. An extreme downgrade from the former Misfits lineup to this one. I mean, again, in terms of, in terms of tiers, you'd say Misfits formerly were probably a tier 2 team. This one is certainly probably a tier 3 or below. If you look at their past events, really nothing going for this roster, but I do hope the best for them, but Misfits has taken a huge downgrade. On top of that, kind of in breaking news, which people haven't really talked about as well, we do have Gambit Gaming using Seized on their roster for Mountain Dew League, and it's, it's so ironic to say that because if you guys remember six months ago, yeah, PGL, the major that Gambit one. We have a major winner now outside of ESL Pro League. They've gotten bumped down to Mountain Dew League, which is just crazy to see. That kind of roster on screen, of course, with Seized, is now going to be competing in Mountain Dew League. So they probably will have the be a pretty good chance at actually qualifying for Season 8 of Pro League, but it's just crazy to see. We could have, a, you know, six months time can actually really change so much in the CSGO scene. A former major winning team is now in Mountain Dew League. I never thought I'd say that sentence, but of course then you have Virtus Pro who can't make Pro League uh, two years straight. So I guess that does work out. This is absolutely not sponsored, but I want to kind of try and you know make these videos a little bit new for all of you. So please leave comments down below. What can I change besides my speech? I love talking fast. You guys know that, but I just want to tell you guys I tried these new Awake bars. I'm not sponsored at all. They're, I don't really. I actually, actually hate milk chocolate, but they're actually caffeinated chocolate bars. I just did my run. I got back here, had a piece of these, and I am feeling wired. Have any of you guys ever? had these. I mean, if you guys want to sponsor me in the future, they're probably not going to. But anyway, bouncing off that to our last story, of course, all the roster changes happening out there, and North has hit us all by surprise. We now have North. I uh, talked about them actually in my last video, and ever since then, we've had surprising changes. Config did tweet out this. It was a pure reference to the fact that he will be benched on North's roster. Who would have guessed that within 24 hours, and of course, within a week of the major, I certainly did not see this coming. North has now benched two of their, you know, their oldest players, the first being Cajun B, their opera, and of course, now Config has been benched 
benched on top of that and they'll be replaced likely by Mertz from the Academy as well as Gade from the Academy so it's almost been confirmed it's actually been confirmed by North that their Academy member their opper Mertz will replace Cajun B and also speculated as well their other Academy member Gade will also replace Config so now with Pro League two weeks again uh, two weeks away we have North benching half their roster and picking up two, two of their Academy members of course keeping all of that in-house for ESL Pro League so a brand new North roster pretty much and also Config did make the state uh, make sure to state for all of us it's due to personal issues which makes a lot of sense him being probably one of their better players if not their best player on that roster right now he is benching himself or actually you can, we can assume he's benching himself or being put on the bench for personal issues for an indefinite amount of time meaning we do not know how long he'll be there and that was in shocking news so again what we're talking about teams who have kind of been on a, on a, a slight degrade lately of course Virtus Pro comes to mind a lot of teams from the major who performed way way worse than, that, than we expected from them Gambit Team Big Astralis this definitely comes to mind as well North is now degra degraded to their roster I know kind of a big word there and they are now almost half an academy roster so on top of that though as well we had other big announcements coming from Mouse Sports this one is very very likely as well to, uh, to replace Styko on the roster to be kind of a placeholder he was always a target especially when we look back at the, the last major he was a huge target of criticism for being the worst player and unfortunately that was actually Spitty before him and then as, after that it definitely was Styko next and apparently Styko will be replaced by former fanatic Dennis now Dennis has been leaking for a long time on his Twitter different tweets out there alluding to him actually being placed on a team and it does seem for right now that Mouse Sports Styko will be replaced by former fanatic Dennis so great news for him unfortunate for Styko though it always seemed he was almost somewhat of a, of a placeholder for any other big players out there who were going to replace him so uh, yeah if any of you guys remember back to the days where Spitty was the target after that I felt like it all kind of kind of all the attention kind of went to Styko as being the next worst player I don't mean any offense but that's kind of what I saw from a personal um, you know for, from a personal standpoint so yes big changes coming for North Mouse Sports other rosters probably coming soon remember guys ESL Pro League deadline is now 13 days away I expect more changes certainly to come soon and very last in today's episode of CSK News and yes I know there's so many stories out there that I probably did not cover I'll try and summarize those summarize those in the next episode there's been so many stories so many breaking news out there I'm gonna try and summarize all those articles you know as, as soon as I can so I know I did probably miss some things out there guys but also what do you think about the new upload schedule I think I might try and stick to it the same time every day I know a lot of you guys also like to make try and make me you know do breaking news style videos but it's very tough to render a video and record all these stories and I can never do a video on just one breaking story so what do you guys think maybe a CSGO news episode every single day at the same time for me right now 7 a.m. USA Central Time uh, what do you guys think about that leave a comment down below because that could be really cool if I could just do one video every day at the same exact time and we'll see what you guys think about that but also in breaking news at the point of me recording this of course a little late by the time you guys see it we do have G2 shocks apparently with an injury to his wrist the last injury we actually saw in the pro scene was Guardian Guardian came back amazing before him it was Olaf Meister Olaf Meister was recovered very well so that's actually good news for a pro players getting the right attention and shocks apparently is ahead of this apparently has a cyst he says kissed in his tweet but I think he did mean of course lack of translation there I think he did mean to say cyst uh, again really quick warning guys this might be gross to describe to all of you what a cyst is though is kind of a, pretty much a sack of air a sack that fills up with anything like air or fluid so apparently two centimeters is a pretty big cyst for his wrist and uh, that did not mean to rhyme it at all so we're gonna see what happens with him in his future he will get an MRI or whatever kind of scan he needs to and of course see the right specialist I'm very very hopeful this doesn't sound like too big of an injury and I hope I'm not wrong when I do say that but of course G2 shocks gonna keep up on that guys and uh, maybe lay off the wrist for a couple days so we'll see what happens in the future of D G2 and all you fans out there and hopefully everything is all right hope you guys all enjoy as always thank you all for watching and for all the great comments I'm gonna try to reply to a few comments today but of course I'm busy at school and I'm sure a lot of you guys are busy as well so hope you guys all enjoy as always my name is Jake Mariah like you I'm gonna get out of here all right goodbye